The following is an instructional video designed to provide new soldiers of the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, with an example of how to properly execute marching in the ceremonial certification testing process. All candidates are required to test this portion. Task. Conduct a marching test for ceremonial certification. Condition. Given a candidate in ceremonial uniform with appropriate equipment, a drum beat, and a ceremonially certified sponsor. Standard. The candidate must score a minimum of 80%, 8 out of 9, to receive a go. If a candidate scores below 80%, he or she will receive a no-go and have to retest at a later date. Each minor performance measure will be tested three times. To receive a go for a minor performance measure, the candidate must perform it correctly two of three times. The candidate must pass five of five major performance measures on all tests. Candidates that fail a major performance measure will immediately receive a no-go and have to retest at a later date. All performance measures will be conducted in accordance with TC 3-21.5, January 2012, and TOG Sword and Saber Certification Handbook. This is the grade sheet that will be used to assess each candidate's performance. The five major performance measures are Uniform Ceremonial Composure Remaining in step with the beat Voice Commands Smooth marching posture to include Left hand in a C fist Correct sword and saber grip Head level with chin tucked, shoulders back, chest out, and stomach in. Torso and shoulders remain stationary. Do not twist side to side. Heel to toe steps, step length, and arm swing. The minor performance measures will be discussed throughout the remainder of the video. The candidate will stand at the position of attention, with sword or saber drawn and in the carry position. The grader will give the command in a normal voice for the candidate to repeat to standard as they execute the move. The size of the marching surface will determine the command that the grader gives, meaning the grader may give two right flanks followed by a left flank. For the purpose of this video, commands will be called in the order they are listed on the grade sheet. Forward March The candidate calls the command forward march to standard before executing a slide step and beginning to march. Common errors with forward march include, but are not limited to, not saying the voice command correctly, leaning forward in anticipation of moving forward, not taking a slide step, failing to swing the arms immediately. The candidate will be marching forward for the following task. Mark time, march. Mark time, march. The command mark time is called on the left foot with the command march called on the immediate next left foot. Upon saying march, the candidate takes one more full step with their right foot before coming to a mark time with both feet coming up to the candidate's mid shin. Common errors with mark time march include, but are not limited to, not saying the voice command correctly, not swinging the arms correctly, not taking an extra step before coming to a mark time, not bringing the feet to mid shin level, the candidate will be at a mark time for the following task. Ready, step. While marking time, the candidate calls ready on their left foot, with the next command step coming on the immediate next left foot. Upon calling step, the candidate takes one more step with their right foot and pins their arms along their side. The candidate will then take a slide step with their left foot while simultaneously beginning their arm swing again as they move forward. Common errors with ready step include, but are not limited to, not saying the voice command correctly, not swinging the arms correctly, not pinning the arms, not conducting a slide step. The candidate will be marching forward for the following task. Right flank march. Right flank march. While moving forward, the candidate calls right on their right foot, with the next command flank coming on the following left foot and completing the command with march on the second right foot. Upon calling march, the candidate pins both arms along the side and brings their left foot in front of their right toe to form a T on count one. On count two, the candidate turns their body 90 degrees to the right and takes a full step with their right foot while simultaneously swinging their arms appropriately. Common errors with right flank right march flank include, march. but are not limited to, calling the command on the wrong foot, not pinning both arms, not conducting an arm swing on count two, 
not forming a T. The candidate will be at a marked time for the following task. Seven count cut. The candidate's left foot hits the ground on the first boom boom. Candidate's immediate next left foot hits the ground on the second boom boom. Candidate's third left foot hits the ground on the next boom boom, followed by the next left foot taking a slight slip out and hitting the ground on the next boom. The candidate's right foot remains on the ground and slides to a close on the final boom. Common errors with the seven count cut include, but are not limited to, candidate pins arms, footwork is incorrect. The candidate will be marching forward for the following task. Left flank march. While moving forward, the candidate calls left on their left foot with the next command flank coming on the following right foot and completing the command with march on the second right foot. Upon calling march, the candidate pins both arms along the side and brings their right foot in front of their left toe to form a T on count one. On count two, the candidate turns their body 90 degrees to the left and takes a full step with their left foot while simultaneously swinging their arms appropriately. Common errors with the left flank march include, but are not limited to, calling the command on the wrong foot, not pinning both arms, not conducting an arm swing on count two. The candidate will be marching forward for the following task. Rear march. Rear march. While moving forward, the candidate calls rear on their right foot, but the next command march calls on the following right foot. Rear. Upon calling march, the candidate pins both arms along their side and brings their left foot in front of their right toe to form a T on count one. On count two, the candidate turns their body 180 degrees to the right and turns their right foot completely around to form a T with their right heel and left foot. On count three, the candidate takes a full step with their left foot while simultaneously swinging their arms appropriately. Common errors with rear march include, but are not limited to, calling the command on the wrong foot, not pinning both arms, not forming T's with the feet, not conducting an arm swing on count three. The candidate will be marching forward for the following task. Change step march. While moving forward, the candidate calls change on the right foot with the next command step coming on the following left foot and completing the command with march on the second right foot. Upon calling march, the candidate pins both arms along their side, slides their right foot so that their right toes hit their left heel. The candidate then takes a step with their left foot and begins swinging their arms. Common errors with change step march include, but are not limited to, calling the command on the wrong foot, not pinning both arms, excessively bouncing. The candidate will be at a mark time for the following task. Honor guard halt. While marking time, the candidate calls honor guard on the left foot, with the next command halt coming on the immediate next left foot. Upon calling halt, the candidate takes one more step out with their right foot and pins their arms along their side. The candidate will then slide their left foot in to close their feet. Common errors with honor guard halt include, but are not limited to, not saying the voice command correctly, not swinging the arms correctly, not pinning the arms, not conducting a slide step to close. Upon completing this test, candidates will move to dressing, which is part five of this instructional series. For any questions on this event, speak with your sponsor or your ceremonies and special events team.